influencer has been allegedly charged with breaking the internet after recent eye-popping content that was released directly on their social media platforms. More on this later. Yo, yo, yo. What's good, y'all? Man, I got a crazy update for y'all, man. It's about your boy Diddy once again, man. There's so much information that's coming out about him. It's crazy, man. Um, Yeah, your boy, uh, he's been caught with all of these uh toys he got man it's crazy they showed that man this dude man he's he's going too crazy with it man you know and and then you know the baby oil to match that it's just like man like what are, what are everybody gonna think besides something negative you know and then you know Nicki minaj she got hatred against jay-z because jay-z blackball wayne and you know jay-z and diddy they like brothers and whatnot they best friends and whatnot since way back when so you know nikki ain't feeling that and then you know it's some other things that's coming out and this ain't no disrespect no kind of way with jaguar right but the dude kind of got a point and you you'll see it in the video but it's like okay you know a lot of these people they coming out and it's because they wasn't treated fairly i guarantee you if he would have dropped a bag for all of those people yo none of them would have came forward if he would have gave a big bag to all of them none of them would have came forward and that's what this one guy was talking about man that has his own show as well you know salute to him you know um he he's telling you honestly jaguar Wright was involved with all the stuff she was in it so hey you might see jaguar Wright on the tapes you know what I mean? And I guess her not being treated fairly, I guarantee you if he would have gave her a 30, 40, 50 million dollar bag, like Cat Williams say, sometimes you got to tell him no. She would have got that 50 million dollar bag. She would have been like, yes. She wouldn't be talking all this, this net and blowing up her channel to get some, you know, some views and try to get paid off of it. She already be good to go. You know, just like the rest of them. If they all would have got paid accordingly to what they thought that they needed, they wouldn't have, none of them wouldn't have came out, you know, and, and it's it's sad to say that, man, because, you know, these people was wanting to go to the party, but now you're wanting to tell on them after how, how long, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 it makes sense, but then it don't, it's like, you know, you could have said something right then and there, I get it, yeah, you thinking your life in fear and danger and stuff, I mean, it ain't no difference whether if he locked up or not, the dude still got some connections, you know what I mean? He can he, if he want to get you, he can try to get you regardless. I think, you know, I mean, that's like anybody like in the streets, you know, people that get locked up. They still know word that's going on in the streets. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, you got to take that in consideration, you know. And, and for me, I, I think that, uh, you know, we got to do better, man. You know, everybody's scared and stuff like that, man, about what's on the tapes. I mean, I put it like this. You know, man a woman up to what you did. If that's what you did and you on them tapes and you acted buck wild crazy like he said, you know what I'm saying, with Bieber, hey, you acted buck wild crazy. Don't be a, don't be ashamed to say, hey, yeah, this is what I like or this is, you know, one of the things I like to do or, you know, hey, yeah, you saw me acting crazy on that. You know, hey, that's just me. I mean, we all human now, you know, it only going to make it look bad when you're trying to ignore it and you're not trying to face it and, Say, hey, yeah, I actually did that. It's going to make it normal. It's just like when Lil Nas X came out, everybody was like, oh, dang, okay, whatever. You know, no big deal. But if he wouldn't have came out, it would have been a big deal. Everybody been on the blogs, the podcasts, all these interviews, talking junk. But by him coming out, everybody shut up. You know, so if you just come out on what you did, that's what I think they need to start doing, coming out on what they did and then also they saying that you know jay-z gotta testify if he don't testify he gonna get the subpoena if he don't he gonna get locked up it's gonna make it seem like he guilty and they saying anybody that's been uh traveling whether if you had to catch a flight whatever most likely he gonna make you catch a flight you know did he's impatient you know so he gonna make you catch that flight and if you went to his place and you did something that's considered trafficking if you went there and you did something after you caught a flight, that's considered trafficking. So just a, a, a heads up notice to all of y'all celebrities out there. If you fly somebody out and you do something with them, that's considered trafficking. That's what they saying. You know, so all of these people are going to have to come out and talk about what was going on in their involvement because it's on camera. So you can't lie about it, you know, so. 
you might as well just go ahead and come clean now. I mean, I know some people that did some dirty work more than others or whatnot, but you just got to come clean at this point. I mean, people are going to find out and it's going to be even worse, you know, if you don't come out, you know. So I want you all to check out this whole thing, man. It's a lot more to it. And uh, also, I got something funny at the end. You know, I like to put those cartoons mixed with it, man. That's just it, it, it. It's something I got to have with it, man. It's a little complimentary, man, on, you know, just... And I ain't trying to say it's funny that Diddy going through that. No, it's not funny. I don't want nobody to go through that, you know? And I don't think he's all the way 100% guilty because these people willingly did it. If you know what he's doing and you know what's going down at the parties, everybody's been talking about it and you still want to go, that's your fault. Honestly, that's your fault. It's not his fault. They just trying to pin him to get the bigger fish. And all the other fish that's, you know, on his level and under that's been participating in this stuff. That's what it's all about. They trying to break it down and clear this whole industry out. And pretty soon we're not going to have nothing to look at because, I mean, I'm telling you, it's going to be sports players, models, musicians, actors, you know, people in the presidency stuff. And, you know, I don't want to, you know, get to it. But, yeah, you, you get the point. It's going to be everybody in there. So we ain't going to really have much to look at. And we're going to have to refurbish this whole industry with some good people. And maybe I'll start doing music again. Y'all can hit me, you know, on, on, on some fire stuff, man, because I've been wanting to bring some fire stuff. But, man, I'm, I'm good. I, I continue to do this right here in my, my, live my regular life, man, that I'm doing outside of this right here. You know what I mean? And, you know, y'all got to check it out, man. I appreciate the love, support. Hit them comments, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. If y'all think Diddy is not completely 100% wrong, drop that in there. If you do think he is, drop that in there. You know, subscribe to this channel, man. Subscribe, 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 man. I appreciate all y'all, man. One love, man. P. Diddy and the P is for prison. What's up, my boy? Hey, I got to ask you some questions, man, so let's get it. Let's do it. All right, first off, I don't feel comfortable calling another man P. Diddy. What can I call you? You can call me love. Won't be doing that. Uh, there are rumors circulating that you like men, women, little kids. Uh, which one do you actually prefer? It depends on my mood, my vibe. Uh, I seen 100 bottles of baby oil in the bathroom. What's up with all that? I can't tell you that. Mm -hmm. It's a slippery slope, ain't it, P. Kelly? Uh, why you moved to Miami? Oh, for the kids. The kids. The family. The weather. Don't ever twirl like that again. Uh, what your freaking head gonna miss the most when you get locked up? I miss the people. You shared with us that you got a secret grinder profile. What does your bio say? I'm vivacious, eccentric, and I'm a Scorpio. Did you just moan when you said that? Uh, what are some common misconceptions about you? There are no misconceptions about me. I don't think you want to say that out loud. Uh, how is it that your freaky ass still ain't got caught? My belief in God. When you get caught, what you going to ask to eat when you snitch? Fried chicken. Damn, that was quick. You already thought about this, huh? Why you over there looking all tensed up? You all right? I need a hug. And sexually abused women need people to believe them, nigga. Uh, over there, you got a bang of baby oil under that tree. What you going to be doing with that? Opening up a whole lot of gifts. Mm -mm -mm. You going to jail, jail, St. Nicholas? You think that's funny, huh? You booty a bandit? When you be having them dildos strapped on you, what you go in the room and say? Get ready for double the love. Your rose petal shirt wearing ass. What's the best booty you ever seen on TV? Oh, that's Eddie Murphy delirious. Damn, you freaky as hell. Boy, don't scoot your freaky ass up here like that Kleenex box shirt wearing ass, nigga. Uh, yeah, sit on back. When was the first time you knew you was Mr. Take That, Take That? No, I was 12. Damn, what, you had a boyfriend or something? No, I wasn't supposed to, but I got one anyway. All right, you are known for having some of the freak nastiest parties in the world. They say you gotta leave before midnight, and uh, that's when they really strike. What do you say some of your freakiest parties were? I would say... When I got my star on Hollywood, I had a party. Mm -hmm, nasty ass nigga. And this year at Burning Man. They said there was at Burning. An undisclosed location. What in the Epstein Island do you got going on? You got a diddler's lair out there, don't you? Where it really, you know what? I don't even want to know. Uh, what is the craziest thing you ever had at a party? One time I had the Declaration of Independence in one of my 4th of July parties. Mm -hmm. It was a 4th of July white party. And the white party is coming back this year, by the way, for charity. What's the charity called? Nuts for butts? You ain't about to fool me. Have me up in there thinking, oh, don't run up on me, Nappy Diddy. You think Cassie got you for that money? You hit me, you're going to be Dame Dash broke. Who you really want to be up in that thing, though? Leonardo DiCaprio. How you end up on the couch? Close your mouth. Why you looking at me like that, ugly ass nigga? If you could bring any artist back, who would it Michael be? Jackson. You on an island stranded for 24 hours with any famous person, who would it be? Denzel Washington. Did you hear what I said? On the island? Why would you want to be on the island? I hear you, man, but you gonna have to turn into Pill Cosby if you gonna get Denzel to do... Did you just lick your lips while we talking about Denzel? That's crazy, you man. Know, ah! What the... That's all. You just want a little bit of peace and love. A little peace and love on the island, huh? I mean, I understand that, but you, boy, don't ever... I will call the authorities on you. Brave man. Is that a threat? Is that a th Listen, you know what? I'm going to just ask you some true or false questions. We can wrap this up, all right? Sure, let's go. All right. Uh, is you really the diddler? False. G come on, man. Don't tell me the true. truth. Did they find a million pounds of baby oil in your house? True. When Usher lived with you when he was 14, you used to play wrestle with him and his tidy whities False. 
When Usher was 15 and he lived with you, you used to play wrestle with him and his tighty whitey. True. Sometimes when you would have sex with young Miami, you would make her put on a Meek Mill mask. False. <laughs> yeah, you didn't think I knew about that, honey. And you used to have Fonsworth Bentley hold your umbrella in the house. That's absolutely false. You got to tell Diddy no, and even if you do tell Diddy no, it doesn't matter because he's still going to drug you up and sexually assault you anyway. Damn. That's true. Ha <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go to jail, nigga. <laughs> 10 for yeah. a week. Uh, 784 male-shaped toys. Do you have any idea what that looks like? Well, I'm going to show you because that's apparently how many of those they pulled out of the raid, no pun intended, um, on Diddy's house when they also found the thousand bottles of lubricant and baby oil. Now, my favorite part of this is they found all of these and they're like, photo op. And I feel like this guy and this guy are doing their best to not crack a smile. And look, the situation is not funny. It really is quite serious, but this is a ridiculous amount of these. Now, the next thing I want to show you is a resurfaced clip because apparently Diddy has been telling us what he's been doing for years. Just take a listen. No, no, I don't know if guys have noticed this. Like, a lot of ladies drink water at parties. They right. just, you know, so you have, if you don't have what they need, they're going to leave. Right. Got to right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors. <laughs> yeah, this Let's, is sounding kind of dangerous now. It's a little kinky, but, yeah, you know, yeah. Broccoli, but just right. check it out. You need um, a lot of heat. A lot heat. of heat. Yeah. Heat, you mean that physically the place has to be hot? You don't have no air conditioning. No air conditioning? No. Why is that? Heat affects the alcohol and it also affects like, um, you know, everybody gets a little bit more comfortable and loose. Builds up a nice little sweat. So back in the day, Didi bought the rock from this white freak, which I can't believe nobody is talking about this white freak. This guy's way worse than Diddy. Anyway, but the story is about Diddy and the rock. So Diddy came up to the rock after seeing the big potential and like what he saw, say, hey kid, you wanna be a movie star? And The Rock was like, oh sir, cause after watching Black Adam, it's pretty obvious, he has no acting skills whatsoever. How did he make all that money? It's not acting. I mean, people would pay a lot of money to experience The Rock, if you know what I mean. So Diddy had this one game at the Free Cops, which would be three curtains, right? And it would be The Rock sitting behind one curtain, a donkey on the other curtain, and a two liter uh, bottle of Coca-Cola on the third uh, curtain. And Kevin Hart, Will Smith, uh, Drake, you know, th that's the game that Diddy made him play, that he had to pick up a curtain. And let me tell you, you did not want to pick up the curtain with The Rock. You'd be better off with that two liter Coke bottle because, bro, Drake and Kevin Hart drop the curtain. Boom, there he goes, The Rock, butt naked. And there ain't no coming out once The Rock is in, if you know what I mean. I mean, Cat Williams said he turned down $50 million four times. You do the math. Woo. All that matters. So that goes back to the criminal organization part. That's why this prosecutor is saying that Jay-Z uh, is probably going to have to testify if he's innocent. But if you don't hear anything from Jay-Z, then he's probably going to be charged too. That's what this prosecutor says. Now, that's only because, like I said, they can go back 10 years from the last crime that was committed. Not 10 years from today, 10 years from the time that the last. So if Diddy, so Diddy just got arrested this week, they can go back to, or, or they can, they can uh, charge him from now till 2034, I believe it's 10 years with the federal government, that's the statute of limitations. So uh, they're going all the way back to 2008 and they said that he had been doing trafficking up until 2018 for sure. And anybody else that was involved around supported, if you slept with one of the prostitutes that he had at, at one of his parties, if you did anything like that, if you were involved at all since 2008, you could be charged in this. And that's where everybody, all these other celebrities come in. And that's what this prosecutor is saying about Jay-Z. Let me get back to the article. It says She said, uh, the prosecutor speaking on this situation said, if Jay-Z is just a witness who didn't participate in the SEX acts, he may be subpoenaed to testify at trial. So if he didn't participate in nothing since 2008, he may just be have to come testify at Diddy's trial. But she said, I don't think he will be subpoenaed if he was a participant. So the prosecutor says if Jay-Z was involved, if he slept with one of the prostitutes, if he was there doing something or anything like that, the prosecutor 
is uh let me get you out of here some people don't uh hold on we got to get people out of here if you if you a, a faithful subscriber you've been here for a while you know we ban people all the time you you don't get free speech on my platform um if you come in here saying anything crazy you go so she's saying that if he was just a witness and he didn't participate in the sex acts then he's just gonna have to testify if he she said but i don't think he will be subpoenaed if he was a participant he'll either be charged or not called to testify so she said if he was a participant if Jay-Z was a participant in anything that Diddy had going on since 2008, at any point, it could be 2009, 2010, 2011, at any point between 2008 and now, if Jay-Z was involved in anything since the time that they started their best investigation on Diddy, then uh, he'll, he won't be called as a, as a witness. He'll be charged or not called at all. Um, she said, the prosecutor said, if you're a prosecutor, you don't want a witness uh, who participated in criminal activity but are getting a pass. So she's saying if Jay-Z is involved, they're not going to want to call him as a witness because he participated in that. That You don't want to help criminals as a prosecutor. That's what, that's what this prosecutor speaking on this situation said. Um, the article goes on to say Diddy and Jay-Z have been friends for many years. Uh, their relationship goes back to the early 90s, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it would be a shocking twist if the, the article says it would be a shocking twist if any of Combs' rich and powerful friends participated in the act and if he were to flip on them like Epstein did or just Lane Maxwell should have done. Uh, it would be surprising because he's the most culpable pro and, and prosecutors aren't going to necessarily cut him a deal, especially when they have less, less culpable witnesses who will be able to offer that testimony. Wow. So basically they saying Diddy is at the top of the food chain and ain't nobody, ain't nobody to snitch on for Diddy, which is crazy. Uh, I, I know people, you know, listing a bunch of different people that they think is involved. This prosecutor said in this article, they listed actually uh, these people. They listed Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, Leonardo DiCaprio, Pharrell, Snoop Dogg, and Jay-Z. That's who's listed in this article. So that's basically what they're saying, man. They're saying that, you know, if we don't hear as a, as a, the article says, as, as the general public, if we don't hear Jay-Z has been subpoenaed to testify, then we can assume, the prosecutor is saying, we can assume that Jay-Z is going to be either charged or not called to testify for some other reason that the feds have. But they are saying that Diddy is the top of the food chain and everybody else is less culpable. So he's, Diddy don't have nobody to snitch on to get out of jail. They denied him. His bail package is crazy, and they denied it. I'm going to pull his bail package up. Um, Diddy offered $50 million to get out of jail today, and the judge denied it. But he also offered a bunch of different things as well, not just the $50 million. So I thought it was crazy that, you know, he's not even able to get out on a $50 million bail. Like, putting up $50 million and them denying it says they feel you're that dangerous, which is crazy. The industry is a strange, dark place. And after what this industry insider told me directly in this interview, it only further confirms that. My name is Jonathan Hay. Uh, I'm a publicist. At any moment, did you personally feel that they could have had something going on? Jay-Z and Rihanna? Definitely. You can say allegedly. Okay, allegedly, definitely. Not allegedly. He was interrogated, and this is literally what he said. He said that Jay-Z, uh, no, not Jay-Z. He said P. Diddy, Rick Ross, and DJ Khaled. He said they're all gay. And he said that they're all a part of the Bole masonic organization what i do know for a fact not alleged but dj Khaled is bisexual uh and jay-z is has also participated in bisexual activities would you want to say allegedly for your safety there's no i would say allegedly if it was allegedly dj Khaled, 100 percent has been involved and in, he's bisexual <laughs> Now there was an interview from Jaguar Wright. She talked about how, you know, um, all the celebrities and anybody that was ever victimized by P. Diddy, the diddler. She 
talked about how, you know, they finally get to breathe and they finally get to do this and that. But one thing that she is not telling you is that she was at those parties. So you have to ask yourself a question. How does one have this much intimate, detailed 3D information and knowledge of what goes on in those parties if she wasn't there? If she wasn't partaking in those secret doors? If she wasn't at those freak-offs? Well, I'm here to tell you, she was at those freak-offs. That's the reason why a lot of these elites want her dead. That's the reason why a lot of these music moguls want her dead. How does she know so much about Soldier Boy? How does she know so much about Usher? How does she know so much about Mary J. Blige and J-Lo? It's because she was there. She was there. How does she know about LL Cool J? How does she know about 50 Cent? How does she know about Genuine? How does she know about Tyrese? It's because she was there, okay? It's because she was there. How, how does she know so much about TLC? Okay, how, how, must, how, how does she know about t Boz and Chili? How does she know all these things? How does she know all these things about Tank? How does she know all these things about some of these people like Charlie Wilson? How does she know that these people were at these parties if she wasn't there participating in the butt cracking and the cheek smacking? She was there. So I want to get you guys to understand is that these these people that are at the top, the ones that are doing these interviews on Vlad TV. So you got to ask yourself, why are you on Vlad TV? Why are you on some of these podcasts talking about this openly? If you weren't there, it's because she's allowed to. This is a game. This is a deception. This is a mind game. She was a part of it. Now, the reason why she was crying about it is because she was a victim of it, too. All right. Now, I believe there's a few interviews where she talked about, um, you know, a plethora of things, but she's not telling you everything because you can look into her eyes and hear the shaking in her voice because she has conviction. She is convicted to the core. She knows what she did and she's sorry about it and she feels nasty about it. So the thing is, is if you're going to expose other people for being at Pub Daddy's parties, you need to expose yourself. You need to expose the fact that you were there playing with Tyrese. You were there playing with Genuine. You were there playing with Usher. You were there playing with J-Lo. You were there playing with Mary J. Blige. You were there playing with T-Boz and Chili. You were there playing with those people too. So the reality is simple. It doesn't take any food off my table. It doesn't take a dime off my check. But y'all need to wake up and pay attention because they're not telling you everything. These celebrities come out and say, you know, his bodyguards, they were there too. He wasn't just guarding the door, okay? He wasn't just guarding the door. Shannon Sharp was there too. All these celebrities were there too. Shaq, yeah. Charles Barkley, yeah. Kenny Smith, yeah. Stephen A. Smith, yeah. All of them were there. So let's just get this out of the way. You're not at the top rubbing elbows with movers and shakers and serious money makers if you're not a part of these freak offs. Because the whole part to be, the whole thing of being successful in this system is you got to shake a little booty. You got to do a little fruity things. And you got to get a little freaky. And all these people have gotten a little freaky. We're talking about football players like, um, you know, uh, I ain't going to say Russell Wilson, but, and I don't deny if it's Russell Wilson. We're talking about LeBron James in basketball. We're talking about um, everybody. It's hard to believe, but all these people were at these parties because you got to give some to get some. Remember that. This shit is getting dark, y'all. Apparently, Diddy had the NYPD helping him out in his operations, bro. Check out this video I'm about to show y'all. So it seemed like the police were on Diddy's side. Is that the idea there that he kind of had him doing his bidding? It was more than they were on his side and that they were actually doing his dirty work. And there was a picture of Pete Diddy on the wall of the station. There was a picture of Pete Diddy on the wall of a New York City police station, correct? Ain't no way, bro. This dude had the police doing his daughter work the police helping him in sex trafficking and racketeering this is outrageous bro now for some of us we're not surprised but for the police to be helping in these type of sex rings bro how dark how dark do these situations really get how big is this ring that we're talking about how many people are actually involved and when they're all caught what is this country even gonna look like anymore this is crazy bro been doing things like this to get ahead 
Diddy was not the only one. He was not the only one. Now, there was one powerful person in the industry who protected Diddy, and that was Clarence Avon. Clarence Avon was the black godfather of the entertainment industry. I believe he was Boule. He might have been a part of the Boule. I don't know. But he had a lot of power and a lot of respect. He protected and helped the careers of a lot of black entertainers. And he also protected them from getting screwed over. And I mean, literally, he protected them from getting screwed. I'm going to give it to you real. Parents make sure that you don't get fucked. Straight up. There's a lot of fucking going on in the entertainment industry, the music industry. Everybody's getting caught up into something. I'm, I'm, I'm cured now, though, everybody. I'm cured. Everything's good. You know, y'all can have me over for dinner. Everything is good. But, now, Diddy sounded very crazy in that clip, and he definitely was lying about being cured, but he wasn't lying about Clarence protecting him and protecting other people. Clarence was very powerful and connected, and he had a lot of respect in the industry, but he passed away last year. He passed away in August, and what I find to be very interesting is months later after he passed, Diddy was exposed. Cassie filed that lawsuit. And everything went downhill for Diddy. See, Diddy lost his protection. Losing Clarence was a huge loss to a lot of people. Not just Diddy, but also Jay-Z. And Jay-Z had to run behind another billionaire named Michael Rubin for protection once Clarence left. So now he's doing business and getting sponsored by billionaires like Mike Rubin and Robert Kraft, who I don't believe are going to stay in his corner forever. But right now, they are his temporary protection. Diddy, on the other hand, has no protection. I think he crossed a lot of powerful people. He angered them. He had them recorded without their knowledge. And now they're scrambling. I mean, did you hear about the CEO of 300 Entertainment, Kevin Lyles, stepping down right after Diddy was indicted? That's not a coincidence. Like, these guys are panicking because they have ties to Diddy. And they know that if he goes down, they're going to go down too. Yes. Yo, call me your I run this city. Send the cops with the A the fans to come get me. If the cats want to leave me for dead, you coming with me. The A the fans to come get me. If the cats want to leave me for dead, you coming with me. interesting she said we want to know if you are present during the abuse of teenagers and children that's what we want to know you can't taste my pee stop Aaliyah Foxy etc during R. Kelly video shoots and stuff did you know about the abuse to Kim Porter and Cassie y'all seem to always run in a sort of rat pack so that's what we the people want you and your peeps to speak on ugly ball head bowling ball beat you ants don't have this energy for gangsters in person but only for bees on the internet whoo somebody protect Nicki minaj what up jay you know i was trying to call you jay i've been trying to call you man so you a snitch now come on nah 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 it ain't like that what you thought this was you thought you was gonna get one over on me you thought you was gonna get me in trouble i am the feds man it ain't like that. I was trying to get us on the same page, Jay. But you wasn't picking up the phone. Nah, I ain't picking up the phone because I knew that you was on this. Jay, Jay, Jay. Listen, man. I took you under my wing. Think about all the things we've been through, all the things that we could do together, man. Nah, nah. Ain't no we in this. I told you. I'm going to be the black everything. Come on, man. I don't got no time for this. You know what has to happen now, right? Yo, Desiree, pass me the peace. Thank you. It's been a good run though, Diddy. We had fun. Jay, please, please, Jay. Please, 
You see, I just snubbed Wayne for the Super Bowl. Now I gotta, now I gotta snub you. Jay, you can't do this. If you off me, it's all gonna be on you. The people gonna know you did it. Oh, we got that covered. Don't worry about it. Come here. See? Ooh! <laughs> me, Diddy! Ooh -hoo. He ain't fully baked yet, but they ain't even gonna know the difference. It's over. Jay, wait! Wait, Jay! Jay, wait, please don't! No, 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 Jay! Jay, no! How do you plead, Mr. Combs? Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, sir. My client actually pleads not guilty. Yes, not guilty. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been waiting on your little pretty ass. Little chocolatey ass. <laughs> what your name is right now, bad boy? Love. Well, we about to make love. And then we gonna change your name back to Diddy. Cause then we gon' Diddy. Then we gonna change your name back to Puffy. Cause that's what you gonna be when we done Diddy. I like that. Hold on, wait, dude, we supposed to like it. It's, I like I like what you're talking about. I don't like it if you I like it. I scrambling and scraping. Hey. That's, that's a lot. I, I like that. I like you. Guard? I ain't locked in here with you, Playboy. You, you locked in here with me. Hey, no daddy, bro. And grab that baby world over there and lather up. Lather up. Thought I told you that we won't stop. Thought I told you that we won't stop.